I was talking to people there, they had not seen electric light or any other form of light other than natural light after the sunset. I remember when I attended school, we used candle and we used kerosene. But if we have solar power light, it will be very good because like for our children, they need to do their homework at night. I was at the Skullwall Forum about five years ago and I had the privilege of seeing Bunker talk on stage. This is at the World Forum on Social Entrepreneurship. The model that he described of women who were from rural communities who couldn't read or write who were then trained over six months to be solar engineers and then could go back to their communities to solar electrify those communities was extraordinarily powerful. They knew more about the sun, about the air, about the water, about the land than anyone else and incidentally they didn't know how to read that. And they had come up with very simple solutions. Simple solutions that had stood the test of time. In my village, I think 68 household all the, the panel in, in Santa Teresa, I have, I have installed making solar um, parts, solar lantern, and install solar panel. Everybody saw uh, a woman going up there, installing those lights, and it's a woman, men are away down, and the woman is up there, that was, looks great. Hogan Lovell is one of the biggest law firms in the world, linking up with Barefoot College one of the most entrepreneurial social enterprises anywhere, and training these women not just to be educated, but to be uh, solar engineers, to change communities. Namaste. Namaste. Taking what we know about those communities, their own skills and their own experiences, and putting them uh, into a kind of program that then comes back and serves the entire community. There are two very valuable approaches to what Barefoot College is doing. The first is that they're starting locally, starting with the locally available knowledge and wisdom before adding in any external advice or insights. The second is that they are training the pillars of communities, namely grandmothers, to provide solar electrification in remote areas across the world. Fatma, Naishi Mikunguni. Kabla India, nilikuwa Starting to make change through empowering one woman at a time, enabling her to change her own life, that of her family, that of her community. You can just see that that um, switch being flicked as she then realises or starts to realise the possibilities. To be able to see people cook without insects going into the pot or without clutching a mobile phone that's lit between their teeth while they're trying to stir a pot. You can't imagine the quality of life difference and the change in people's aspirations for themselves. My name is Florentina. I'm Fatma, oh Mama Fatma. I can say engineer. engineer. I'm so glad, Mama. I'm so glad, Mama. I'm so glad, Mama.